Who knows the story behind the Samuel Baxter? I'm here in Fort Pierce, Florida, looking at this big metal boat with this high bow. I say it's metal. You can see where the sheets of metal have been welded into the framework. And you can also see where the anti-fouling paint is. There's zincs placed all around the hull. And you can see where it says, do not paint. So if this boat is about two meter draft on the bow. Can you see the 2M? There you go, two meter draft on the bow. It's got beautiful curves, beautiful lines on the full displacement hull. Looking at these, these are roll stabilizers. They're not actually active fin stabilizers, but they help reduce the roll or the violence of the rolling back and forth. And coming to the stern, you can see it's a twin engine boat. One engine here on the starboard, another on the port, and then a big rudder, single rudder with twin engines. If you've got any questions about commercial boats, big heavy duty metal boats, and looking up here, the stern is three meters deep, so that's a nine foot draft back here. That's a lot of draft. Let me walk back up front, pardon me, to the bow, and we'll look down the port side of the hull. You can see we've got some rust going on there, and then some anti-fouling paint. Looks like that needs to be chipped off, primed, and new paint applied. This is a big, 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 big boy. And then you can see down there on the port side. The anchor can either come out of that socket on the port bow or off of the bow itself. There's no bow pulpit. So if you can help us figure out who Samuel Baxter is or was, ask Captain Chris.